The member from Smith Cochrane. Thank you, Speaker, and congratulations. And it's uh, once again an honour to be able to stand in the House and today comment on the bill from the member from Scarborough Southwest for the motion on impact and climate change, climate change on Hudson's Bay region. And I have no doubt uh, to the member is sincere, and I would like to thank him for bringing this motion forward. And in my riding, I have the um, the Arctic watershed. So if you go up Highway 11, and you'll see a big monument. And from here, all water flows north into James Bay and Hudson Bay. And as a farmer who farmed my whole life in Northern Ontario, I have no doubt about climate change. And actually, farming in Northern Ontario actually benefits from climate change. So I'm not here to discount climate change. But the issue that we have to face with climate change, and it's a very serious issue, and it's an issue that's been faced by the First Nations for generations, that our modern society has passed the First Nations by because, quite frankly, they didn't fit in what our modern society was. And as our modern society cut down the Carolinian forest and cleared all the land down here and built skyscrapers and builds roads and builds all that stuff, which the people from the country, the people from Northern Ontario, Built, they dug the mines, did all those things to build this modern society. The people in Northern Ontario who are also being impacted by climate change, farmers are going to benefit, but the others aren't. And they're, they're now also being bypassed by our modern society who has realized that all this modern stuff we built impacts the climate. Because climate change has been happening, it's, it's not a new thing. I, where my farm is used to be a glacial lake, so there has been climate change before, but our society has speeded it up, right? We've, the human race has changed. But what about the people who are being passed by? Because as we do things to lessen our impact on the planet, which is great, but we have to make sure that the people who don't live in the major centers, the people who don't quite fit anymore, that they're not the, the victims of climate change. Because the victims are the people who can't pay the bills because hydro is more expensive because we, for, we did a few, there was a few other things we would disagree with, but closing the coal plants is a good thing and it made electricity more expensive. But not everyone can pay that cost. Today, or last week in my riding, it was minus 30. Today, 30 centimeters of snow fell. So, <laughs> climate change might be happening, but those people are still paying the bills, and a lot of them did the hard work and now are on pension, but the pension is not keeping up, and they are victims because, I again, with the, with the, the increased tax on gasoline to help, to help uh, for the carbon offsets, we may agree or disagree, but some of those people who pay for the gasoline, they have no choice. There's, there is not going to be a subway. In Northern Ontario, our bus routes are being cut. Our train, the people who could use a train to get here to medical appointments, it doesn't exist anymore. We hear we're going to build more transit. We are losing ours because we're losing our people. We are victims. The people in outlying regions, the people who actually live in the boreal forest, as I do. We're the lungs of the province, <laughs> of lungs of the world, but we don't want to be a penalty. We shouldn't have to pay a penalty because we live in the lungs of the world. And our society has to make sure that everyone pays a fair share and that everyone benefits from the changes in climate change. And I think that's one thing we have to remember. Climate change is happening. We all recognize it. We gotta make sure that the solution, which might be good for society as a whole, doesn't leave a bunch of outliers who suffer, as the First Nations have suffered for generations because of our prosperity. And this could very well be happening to the people of rural and Northern Ontario as we speak, and that's something we have to be very careful of. Thank you very much. Please.